Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news financial markets have been quiet overnight, but the dairy market has signalled a boom. Dairy prices leapt in spectacular fashion, up 15% in the dairy auction, their biggest jump in six and a half years and the highest level in seven years. The sharp shift higher was led by a spectacular rise for whole milk powder prices, which was up 21%, and butter, which was up 13.7%. Other products only had modest lifts by comparison. This is the type of change that will have an impact on farm gate payout prices if it is sustained over the next few auctions, but you won't see any dairy companies or analysts changing their tune just yet. Meanwhile, US retail sales slipped last week compared with the week before. And in New York City, there's been a very sharp contraction in sentiment among businesses, moving from a good expansion to a sharp pullback. One special feature of this survey is the reporting of sharp rises in prices businesses are paying for their inputs. And Canada reported its fourth quarter 2020 economic growth overnight, and that came in much better than analysts were expecting up 9.6% on top of the 40% rebound in the third quarter of 2020. But that means their economic output was down a net 4.5% in all of 2020 compared with all of 2019. And it's its largest contraction since the 1930s. Yesterday, the Reserve Bank of Australia left its interest rate settings unchanged, but it did extend its bond buying commitments by another $100 billion and said it is prepared to do more if necessary. It is trying to keep its three-year government bond yield at a target rate, even in the face of the international reflation trade. It might need an even larger commitment and is pledging whatever it takes. And staying in Australia, New South Wales has lifted its ban on genetically modified crops grown in the state. It was announced that the 18-year moratorium on GM crops will be lifted in July, and it is expected to deliver a multi-billion dollar boost to its primary industry there. The US Treasury 10-year yield is back down three basis points at 1.42% and continuing the yo-yoing pattern of the last few days. And the price of gold starts today little change from yesterday at $1,735 an ounce. Oil prices are weaker and are now just on $61 a barrel in the US, while the international price is just under $64 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar opens at 72.8 US cents, a little change from this time yesterday. Against the Australian dollar, we're lower at 93.3 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're unchanged at 60.3 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is still at 74.3. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.